The Silicon Power XS 71TB is one of the latest entries into the M.2 SSD market, an SSD that has its own heatsink for cooling, a PCI Gen 4.0 interface and storage capacities that start at 512GB and go as high as 4TB. In this review we have the 1TB model and we shall see how good it performs when compared to the M.2 SSDs offered by the competition. The Silicon Power XS 71TB has an interesting design with a black and silver heatsink and heatsink holder. The SSD is marketed as a performance oriented drive that is also good for gaming, but we shall see about that. Going back to the way it looks, it's a good looking M.2 SSD for sure. However, you will not be able to use it if your motherboard has one of those large heatsinks that cover both the M.2 sockets and the chipset of the motherboard. Don't say that I didn't tell you about this. The pricing of the Silicon Power XS 71TB is just shy of 100 US dollars, 95 US dollars to be exact at this very moment. Under or around 100 US dollars is the price of many PCIe Gen 4 and PCIe Gen 3 M.2 SSDs, thus price wise the Silicon Power XS 70 is looking good. The actual heatsink of this SSD is made from solid metal and has two colors. The fins are black and the cover is silver. This heatsink is attached to the SSD with four Phillips screws on the sides. With those removed, you will have to pry the heatsink off the SSD. The contact between the heatsink and the SSD is made with a regular thermal pad. However, removing the lower part of the heatsink is tricky to say the least. In fact, I would advise you to not mess with the lower part of the heatsink at all as it is hard to remove and you might damage the SSD in the process. With the heatsink removed, we see what makes the Silicon Power XS70 work. The controller used on this M.2 SSD is made by Fison and it is the model PS5018-E18. This is a PCIe 4.0x4 NVMe SSD controller. It supports a maximum of 8 channels and a maximum storage capacity of 8TB. For speed, this controller is rated to handle upwards of 7400Mbps per second for the reading speeds and upwards of 7000Mbps per second for the writes. The DRAM memory of this SSD is made by Samsung and has the model number K4A8G165WC-BCTD. This is a DDR4 RAM chip that has a total capacity of 1GB. The memory chips of the Silicon Power XS 71TB are made by Micron. These are the Micron 176 layer 3D TLC B47R Fortis Flash memory chips, which sport the model number IA7BG94AYA. Before we head into the testing of the SSD, let's see how useful this heatsink truly is. I used Crystal Disk Mark 8 to load the SSD with data and test its performance. And while the test was going on, with the heatsink removed, the SSD reached a maximum temperature of 68 degrees Celsius, while with the heatsink installed, the temperature never went above 58 degrees Celsius. This means that the included heatsink will help reduce the SSD temperature by at least 10 degrees Celsius. Not bad, especially when other SSDs have had their heatsinks made to be pretty and not functional. However, that doesn't mean that the heatsink on the Silicon Power XS70 is without fault. I suspect that if the fins were thinner and more than just 5, the temperature would have been lower. We start our testing with Crystal Dismark version 8, a popular storage benchmark that is easy to use and reliable. And here you will get to see two results, one with the SSD tested on an Intel Z390 platform and another one with the SSD tested on an Intel Z690 platform. This way you get to see the differences in performance between PCIe 3.0 and PCIe 4.0. When we talk about the PCIe 3.0 performance, the Silicon Power XS 71TB is on the third position. However, However, when we switch to the PCIe 4.0 interface, the speed is increased from 3.9GB per second to 7.4GB per second for the reads and when it comes to the writing speeds, we get a speed increase from 3.3GB per second to 6.1GB per second. Obviously, all graphs and tests will be updated once the testing system will be updated to the newer Intel platform that supports the PCIe 4.0 interface. This comparison is done just for the sake of showcasing the speed differences between PCIe 3.0 and PCIe 4.0. 
The next test is Atto Disk Benchmark, another popular benchmark that is widely used in EVUs and by end users. The main difference with this benchmark is that it uses and offers more storage capacities and has more results to showcase. And in this test, the Silicon Power XS 171TB is on the upper part of the graph, with an average reading speed of 3.2GB per second. As for the writing speeds, the average speed of this SSD is 3.10GB per second. This is of course using the PCI 3.0 platform. The next test is a video game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running at maximum settings and at 1080p. This game is easy to use for SSD testing as it is reliable in terms of level load, and in this test, the Silicon Power XS 71TB needed only 20.1 seconds to completely load the game level, matching the performance of the crucial P5 1TB. The final test is the file copy test within Windows. This test is the simplest of them all. You make a folder on the SSD and you fill it with files, for a total folder size of 100GB. Then you duplicate the folder and see the SSD behavior and how much time it needs to complete the file copy operation. And in this test, the Silicon Power XS 71TB started with a speed of 2GB per second and it slowly dropped to a speed of 1.98GB per second for the entire file copy operation. And when we compare its speed to other SSDs, we see that the Silicon Power XS 71TB is at the top of the charts, ahead of the Sabrent rocket units and the Crucial P units as well. A great performance at least when it comes to the file copy operation. The Silicon Power XS 71TB is an interesting M.2 SSD that is best used on a PCIe 4.0 compatible platform. Basically, that's how you will get the full performance of this SSD. Mind you, even on a PCIe 3.0 platform, you will get above half of the speed that the SSD can offer. It's just how things are. So be mindful of that when you make your choice buying SSDs. The Silicon Power XS 71TB is based on the reference design made by Fison, the same company that is behind its controller. The performance of this M.2 SSD is great, especially if you are using it on a PCIe 4.0 platform. With speeds upwards of 7.4 GB per second for the reading speed and 6 GB per second for the writing speed. On a PCIe 3.0 platform, the speed will be cut almost in half, but still good at over 3.9 GB per second for the reads and 3.3 GB per second for the writing speed. In real world performance testing, the XS71 TB performs well, being near the top of the charts and having a constant 2 GB per second speed when you copy large files on the drive. When we talk about the temperature, all is good as this M.2 SSD has a pre-installed heatsink. With the heatsink installed, the maximum temperature of the XS 71TB was 58 degrees Celsius, while with the heatsink removed, the temperature quickly rose to 68 degrees Celsius. Obviously, this heatsink has a drawback as you cannot really use the SSD with the heatsink installed if your motherboard does not have enough space around and above the M.2 socket. The pricing is good, especially when compared to other PCIe 4.0 SSDs. At under 100 US dollars, you will get a well-made PCIe 4.0 SSD that has its own heatsink and will not thermal throttle. The performance is also great. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Star pages of this channel.